Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We had a really nice market rise yesterday with not a lot of content on a Monday in FIFA Ultimate Team, fresh out of the weekend league where there was a lot of sell off, squad battle rewards, pre order pack supply definitely impacted the market. So I want to talk about some of the cards that rose today and especially talk about what could be happening today on Tuesday with UEFA marquee matchups possibly coming. We have UCL games again on tap. We talked about it in the market outlook a little bit yesterday about what some of these cards could do, especially considering the road to the finals. Uh, but I want to talk about just the stuff that happened on the market as well with some of these record breakers because they go out of packs today. Best of Team of the Week cards go out of packs today and how you could be making some coins in this market right now as well. And do we expect anything related to Team of the Group Stage today or tomorrow? I'm not sure, but we'll talk about that in this video as well. So first things first, a lot of cards got low last night with Squad Battle Rewards. And this is, um, th this is like Suspect Numero Uno right here with this uh, Fabregas Record breaker card last night at rewards down to 79,000 coins basically on both consoles around 80,000 coins and he bounced back over a hundred on the Xbox and he's up to 93 94 on the PlayStation that was a nice bounce back on Fabregas I got a bunch of those myself at 81 82 83k and I sold them too early man I sold them before 6 p.m. Uh, I sold them around like the 89 90,000 coin range on most of those so it was just a small bit of profit for me I could have held out for more as he went almost up to 100k right after today when there was no content at the 6 p.m. time frame that happened also to Jamie Vardy and he this guy actually had the craziest rise out of everybody he was down to 415k after rewards went all the way to 530 on both consoles and is now kind of back down a little bit um, on both consoles as well he kind of reached that peak I think there were some people today that saw no content and they went out and they actually bought more cards because a lot of stuff peaked like an hour or two after the 6 p.m. content drop today but we saw this across the entire market not just with these record breaker cards we have got informs road to the finals and everything that is just flying at the moment. Not everything is flying, but a lot of stuff has rebounded very well. Quadrado is 230. He was 215, right? But Anhol was close to 200. He's back at 220. A lot of informs have bounced back nicely as well. Not, not all of them. Not all of them at all. But a lot of cards have. And some of these really meta and more rare items have bounced back very, very well today. Especially the cards that were in best of team of the week. Some of these guys bounced too. Rashford, 720. Um, Renato Sanchez is up like 20,000 coins at 217. Walker is up 20,000 coins. Uh, ben Yedder is up. Conte is up a little bit too. So rule breakers have gone up themselves. Icons have bounced back a decent amount today as well. Excuse me. Um, honestly, some of the gold cards have been a little bit of a letdown in terms of watching cards that have you know risen up over the, the market in the past uh, time period over this, you know, no content day. I had some Martials on my transfer list that I bought at 55k with a hunter during squad battle rewards. I got one at a lucky lazy sale at uh, 62k earlier, but this guy is literally around the same price. Same thing with most of the gold cards. Rashford's kind of the only one that has bounced, but again, he was out of packs or he is out of packs until today at 6 p.m. just because of the fact that, um, the best of Team League Rashford is the only, that's the card that is in packs around the inform. So this guy's at 220, he was 210 last night. So there was a really nice bounce back today on the market, especially on some of the icons. Now I flipped one icon today, I got this, where to go? I, I, I sold an Essien today. I'm not sure why this icon is sitting here back uh, behind the Fabregas, but I sold this Essien today and I was watching a decent amount of icons on the 59th minute because there were deals popping up and these cards fluctuated a lot. This Petit was down at 1.02 mil and is now back at 1.1 where he usually is. Um, a lot of fluctuation today. Makalele was in low 800s after seeing him on last night's video and thinking that 820 was a good price when it actually wasn't. This guy was almost under 800,000 coins today. This Ian Wright baby card fluctuated from like 290 to 320 where it looks like he's almost 320 right now at the moment. 
a lot of other icons I watched today. Butra Gueno, Socrates, Best, Mateus, Del Piero. Just kind of watching those icons around the 1 mil coin range. I probably should have bought this card. Yeah, man, a 1 mil mid bid. This Roberto Carlos, bro. Roberto Carlos every year in FIFA is like an absolute flex of a left back. An absolute flex of a left back. This is what this card is in FIFA, bro. And this one came up today for 999,000 coins. I did not buy it because I had seen on his recent sales that um, he had not been selling too much over like 1.05. And I was like, that's not really flippable. So I did not buy the card. But unfortunately, I should have because it was a great buy in hindsight. This Alberto at 900K, 950. So I would have needed to see like maybe an 880 or an 890 to get interested with that card possibly just to be safe on some good profit. But a lot of icons were fluctuating today. A lot of these cards uh, were flippable and they were buyable. I would expect that con to continue over the next couple of days. Now, if you had some record breaker cards, uh, like again, Vardy, Fabregas, if you have not taken the coins on those yet, one thing we might see today is these guys do go out of packs, yes, but they've kind of dropped a little bit. They've dropped a little bit from where their peaks were, right? Vardy right now is just under 500,000 coins. He was at 530. You know, you had Fabregas at almost 100K. He's at about 91,000 coins at the moment. And now I don't know about some of the other ones. Um, you know, like we have Donnarumma at 78. Some people are shouting this Donnarumma as a good investment out of packs because he obviously links to the, the level 30 storyline of Roll Magnoli. This guy was extinct at 70K, I think, yesterday during rewards. Or not extinct, but at discard at 70K. He's already up to 79,000 coins because of that perfect link. People are already starting to prepare for. So that's one thing to keep an eye on today. If any of these rule breakers, some for some reason, drop at all today into the 6 p.m. content range, that could be a buy because they could bounce up out of packs a little bit more, especially since these guys are really rare. And their real only supply came from the weekend league lightning rounds. And um, and they didn't have any rewards open with these guys in packs, which does limit their supply. And not many people were playing squad battles. So there's not a lot of supply for those cards there as well. Now let's talk about today on Tuesday. What could be happening? I already started to mention it with a couple things. We talked about these road to the final cards that have boomed in price as expected into the games today which we do have some nice uh some nice matchups today we've got atletico and bayern even uh Muchen gladbach and milan i'm interested in that game because Muchen gladbach has been on fire milan has not and my boy erickson plays for milan but those are th that's a fun game today I think the Atletico and Bayern game is like the most interesting. Liverpool Ajax could be a good one too because Ajax need points desperately, desperately to try to get in to, to stay in to the to go on to the knockout rounds. But a lot of these cards are up, right? Davies at 560, Klosterman's up 20k, Oblak's even up 20,000 coins. Team one cards don't seem to be up as much except for some of these uh, Europa leagues, right? And Diddy 274, Salah is 1.5, that's up a lot in price. But the road to the final, set two. Hazard yesterday, Eden Hazard yesterday was like 750k, he's 850, up 100,000 coins. Sissoko is up over 120k from where he was before the weekend. Draxler, Akanji, Koulibaly, Kessie, and Portu all again continue to rise higher. Portu is rising slower, of course, because of the right wing Alessandrini that is out. Um, but of course, a lot of these cards have risen up and that was what we expected. So if you bought any of these on the weekend link sell off yesterday or even on Saturday, you're chilling. Now, again, what we saw last week was a lot of these cards actually dropped off after their games. Real Madrid playing Shakhtar today. Um, I forget. OK, Group B, Real Madrid playing Shakhtar, right? Of course, Real Madrid winning would put them more most likely in a position to possibly get that upgrade. I don't know if it would technically be guaranteed. 10 points, if Muchen Gladbach won, they would be on 11 points, and then basically it would be over from there going into to game week six. So um, after this week, there's going to be a lot more cards, like possibly Hazard, where you would say, okay, since they won this week or you know after this week's games, they might have that guaranteed upgrade um, coming for them, right? People will know for a fact that they're going to be upgraded, but I still think that even though you might see a slight rebound, if the card's already up a lot like Hazard, I would take the cash. I would honestly take the cash on Hazard because why would you spend 850,000 coins on that card? Even though it's live, 
even though it's going to get a plus one, he's probably going to have 90 pace, probably 86 shot, 86 passing, you know, um, I would still take the money on that, I think, today. Uh, and then probably a little bit of a drop off and then maybe a slight rise into match week six when the cards actually do get upgraded. We'll see what happens with that later on this week. But if you have Road to the Finals that are up a lot, especially that Hazard, now a card that I might hold would be a card like Draxler because he was 60K, PSG won. He went back down to 50. He's back up to 56. If PSG win again, I think this card could be undervalued a bit at the moment. If you do think any of these are undervalued, that would be the only uh, scenario where you would want to hold the card. Um, you know... Zakaria, I don't know, 232. It looks like they're going to be going through. He's going to go to an 86 rated card. It's going to be saucy. Just be careful with some of these cards. If you want to take the cash, if you're up a lot, like Salah at 1.5, just, just take the cash, please, in my opinion. Now, Rashford, this could be a card that maybe drops a bunch today, depending on what happens with the games. I guess not today, but tomorrow on Wednesday. Um, Card teams and cards could teams could lose as well, right? PSG beat Man United, and then uh oh, it's not looking as good for Man U, and that would make a card like Rashford possibly drop off and lose some value. So just be careful with that sort of stuff today. Again, you wait for marquee matchups. I'm not really good with predicting what teams are going to be in, but if I had to choose some of the hype games from this week, I don't know if Atletico and Bayern could be in, but I would probably choose that, or maybe Liverpool Ajax for the Tuesday game, for the Wednesday game. Maybe we go with like uh, Borussia Dortmund and Lazio or Chelsea Sevilla or Man U PSG. There's a couple options on the Wednesday game. Uh, I'm not sure what's in marquee matchups right now or what they've done the past couple of weeks for UEFA marquee matchups. One thing I do remember is last week when they released UEFA marquee matchups, they held it on us, man. They released the content. The market started to drop. People started investing in golds to flip, right? Because we're like, yo, the market's going to go up. We started buying. I think I was buying Martial's last week. And he started to rise a little bit. And then 30 or 40 minutes after, 30 or 40 minutes later, I'm actually going to go find the tweet right now from last week. Um, 30 or 40 minutes after that, what we saw was EA put out those UEFA marquee matchups and they kind of like uh, hit us with the supply. Yeah, the delayed supply. This was the tweet right here. Um, oh, last week was the icon as we see, man. That's what it was. Last week on Tuesday was the base icon. This is the tweet. EA with a delayed supply. They released this. What time did I tweet this? At 1.51 p.m. So that would have been 51 minutes after the actual content drop. So we got the icon SBC that was unrepeatable. I said, no UEFA marquee matchups. And then boom, they released UEFA marquee matchups a little bit later after that. So just be careful. If it does not come out right away today at 6 p.m. UK time on the content drop, be careful because there might be a delayed release by a few minutes. I don't know if EA plans to do anything big today. I don't think they do. It's basically the end of the promo. So I don't expect any big time content, just kind of the end of this Black Friday promotion and all the stuff that, it, that has gone on in this last week with FIFA or this last week end with that. Now, one thing I will say today is if you see panic selling on any areas of the market headed into 6 p.m. And what areas might you see panic selling on? Possibly some golds and possibly this current team of the week. You might see some panic selling on these cards because people will be expecting them to get supplied from marquee matchups. Um, you know, Holland... Carrasco, Digne, Neuer, and I guess probably Lukaku as well would be my favorites as a rise out of packs. I know these guys got supplied a lot from Team of the Week packs, untradeable, all the lightning rounds, all the flash SBCs. A lot of these cards have a lot of supply compared to a normal Team of the Week, but I think this Neuer card is going to be very rare at some point, and I like this guy as an investment at some point in this year. This card's going to go back up uh, from maybe not his lowest point right now, but maybe during team of the year or something. I still feel like this is a very valuable card in this game. Carrasco is already up, I think like six or 7,000 coins. Yeah, he was like 30K on the weekend. He was 30K this morning, actually, during rewards. He's already up to 37,000 coins. Uh, very popular card from this week's team of the week. A lot of games played, 2,000 thumbs up. That passes the hype check. So just kind of watch if there's panic selling on this team of the week. It might be a potential time frame to pick up on some of those at a little bit of an undercut in price. Same thing with record breakers. I don't know why people would panic sell record breakers, uh, but that could be something that you see today as well. And of course, SBC fodder. Let's talk about this. 
SBC fodder is very inflated. There's a lot of SBCs that are out right now. Uh, icons, of course, the base icon upgrade V2, and of course, some player SBCs. I don't think that UEFA marquee matchups would really affect SBC fodder price today. I really don't think that it would that much. Maybe a little bit of a drop unless EA juices the pack weight. Um, but right now, it's just kind of coin suck central uh, in the in the SBC section with these high rateds being up. Three, four, five thousand coins a card from where they were two weeks ago. At least the 86s. And some of these cards are up even more. Oblock, 59,000 coins. He was in the 40s a couple weeks ago. Even 83s are at 2.2K. After today, there's really not that much demand for 83 rated cards because the Team of the Week SBC, I think, goes away. And if it doesn't go away, the best of Team of the Week cards are out of packs. I guess technically you could do a Team of the Week SBC still and try to hit Ronaldo. Um, but I think that there will be a lot less hype for the current team of the week upgrade. It still is out for two days. So I guess we can wait and see what happens with this next team of the week. Uh, but I feel like 83s will lose a bit of their hype because there's just not going to be as many cards to pack from that SBC. So again, a lot of the market did rise today. If you made coins, GG's, icon trading, flipping on these out of pack special cards. I was talking about the Urente, right? We were talking about this Urente card like multiple times in this past week, the rule breakers. This guy was 230,000 coins on uh, Saturday, Sunday. Right now he's 245, which is kind of low uh, because Flippin was saying he was just 261. So I might have to get interested with a little flip situation here on Urente if he was actually just 261 a little bit ago because that's kind of how high he was during the weekend league. At one point, he went from 240 today to 260. He hit 260 twice today. So if I would see this any lower than 245, I'm going to get interested. Any lower than this, probably like a 240, I would get very interested at a possible flip to 260 because these cards are very rare. And that is the perfect example of the type of trading that you could be doing right now is the fluctuation trading with the out of packs cards. I don't think we have anything that causes a lot of panic today. It honestly seems like a quiet day on the market from uh, to Monday to Tuesday, and I'm fine with it. I really am fine with the quiet day as it was yesterday with some of the 82 plus packs. Um, we had, yes, we did have some of the grindable SPC content with the 81 to 87 that was released as a part of the upgrade packs that are out right now. Um, I guess if you're somebody who had a lot of time today or, or maybe even on Tuesday morning, you have a chance at doing this 81 to 87 upgrade wherever it is. Um, and it's very craftable and you could probably, if you did it long enough, craft some team of the week packs, or you could craft an icon SBC if you really stuck at it. So you can only, you can put bronzes and silvers into this. That's why it's very craftable with BPM and then the bronze to silver to gold upgrade or bronze to silver upgrade, uh, with five gold players and 45 camps. So if you're somebody who loves to grind the menus and do a lot of those packs, you can even pack some good team of the week cards, uh, from those packs right there while best of team of the week is still in pack. So that's kind of the market outlook for this week, boys. Uh, not this week, but for today. That's just kind of a market talk for today. A little bit of a longer video. Apologize for that since there's not a lot going on. But I just want to kind of explain it all. Talk through it. Champions League today. Good luck if your team's playing. Should be some good games. Road to the finals will be very popular in Flippin. And we might see some rise out of packs a little bit right away if there's no big time content. And if if um, nothing happens today with some of those record breakers. So if you do see a low point and any panic selling on record breakers this morning, I gave you a thumbs up to maybe buy a few of those. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.